Sure is fun bringing Max and Maya to the vet. Sarcasm. Maya is actually, she's usually the good one. She's really mad. Um, she gets a special cloth carrier because Max, every time I catch him, he pees in the carrier. So I have to put him in, let him pee, clean it out, put him back in. I haven't figured out a better way than that. It's pretty awful. And he knows, oh my gosh, he knows when I'm coming for him. So Tried treats, don't really work. Maya doesn't like treats, so... Yeah, fun day. So Maya gets to sit in the front seat because she doesn't pee everywhere. Max is sitting in the back seat and it smells like he peed again. I'm gonna have to deal with that for about an hour drive. Yay. I'm taking him where Clover went because I love that bit. And I'm, hope I'm hoping she can help Max with all his issues. Maya, she just needs her FVRCP rabies stuff. I can see her Max. It's okay, baby. I love you. That's why I take you, because I love you. The coolest. They have a special room just for cats. And it's like quiet in here, away from the dogs. It's great. Okay, Maya, you never tried so hard to get out before. It's kind of weird for you. Do you have to go to the bathroom or something? I'm just like, yeah. What's up with you, Max? Stinky boy. Yeah, you made my ride very unpleasant by stinking it up. And Maya cried every turn. <laughs> so funny how your own cats are like the hardest. <laughs> it's okay, Maya. I'll let you out in a minute. Hey, buddy. It gets all nice. He is so nervous. Can I see your face? No. Maya's hiding. She went right back in the carrier. She said, No, thank you. She's like, I want to get back in. Come here, Maya. Come here. Come here. Come on, baby. You're gonna be easy to get back in. Much easier. She's only 10 pounds. I thought she was like 13. So that's actually okay for her. I mean, it's a little high, but it's only supposed to be like eight, but yeah. I am never taking both cats at once. It's so crazy. Um, because Max has so many, what are you doing back there? Do not pee again. They said there was nothing in your bladder. Oh Lord. It's okay, Max, Max. Well, that's why you get to sit in the back seat because it's mostly able to be cleaned. They gave him lots of treats. He didn't even notice his shots because they were so good. Was with... oh, I think he found a treat in there. Cause there was a treat in there. Um, but he's so confusing. Like chronic sinusitis is from the herpes virus that a lot of cats get exposed to when they're little. They don't all turn into this, but um, he has this chronic where he sneezes and gets snot everywhere. It's really gross, but we've done everything. And like, I guess I'm finally just, I'm not giving up, but I'm just, did you poop? Oh, Max. You pooped. Okay. <laughs> this has been a nightmare. Oh, I'm gonna place this over He pooped in there. Mm. Luckily, I come prepared and I had extra blankets. So I was able to throw away the one with his poop in there because I can't drive all the way home for 50 minutes with poop. And now he looks much happier. <laughs> um, it's a good thing I'm like a mom and I come prepared. You know, I take care of babies, so I'm used to that kind of stuff. But yes, Maya. Yeah. You're next.
She hasn't peed or pooped, so hopefully she doesn't do either one of those, but poor thing. She probably has to. She's just better at holding it than Max. Um, so yeah, we're going to go home. Max got um, this thing called Cavinia injection for his, like, chronic sinusitis, and then we're also going to get, um, he's so difficult, so we're going to get his um, meds compounded into a treat because he will not do the pill pockets he will not let you give him a pill he spits it back out and um i've got the little sh pill shooter that can go down his throat but it's a f fight and i do not want to do that once or twice a day like i just cannot do it and um so there's this place that compounds it into a treat and he's usually pretty good about taking treats even though they smell like vitamins and stuff so I'm really hopeful about that. Um, if not, we're just gonna have to do what we have to do. But I mean, it's not gonna, it's nothing that kills him or like is gonna hurt his health. It's just something they have to deal with, kind of like having allergies, but they don't ever go away. So yeah. Thanks for coming along our crazy journey with us today.